Hi YouTube, and this is JTrain987, and I'm back this time with my review of the McFarlane's Assassin's Creed line Connor figure. Now, get a good look at him here in the packaging. Um, this is a line I was really worried I was going to hate, and um, toy's not out of the package yet, but at least so far it looks a lot better than I thought it would. Um, McFarlane, of course, got the, um, got the license for Assassin's Creed after NECA. I don't know exactly if they let it go, if McFarlane offered more money. Like I said, not sure. Um, but NECA has had the Assassin's Creed license for a long, long time and has been doing a damn fine job making toys. Um, so I was a little bit upset that they lost the license, but at least in the packaging, he looks great. Now, before we go on, I do want to get a quick comparison in because I was wondering if these would be in scale with NECA's figures. Here you have their Assassin's Creed Ezio from Revelations. And as you can see, not even close. Now, granted, there's not a huge scale difference, but, you know, enough to make them look out of place next to each other on a shelf. So, a little bit disappointed in that, but, and what can you do? Now, on Connor's packaging here, it says he has exclusive DLC to unlock Connor's sails. Um, he's got a bow, looks like two flintlock pistols, a tomahawk, and what I believe is a secret blade... On the back of the packaging here, you have the rest of Series 1, which were, of course, Edward Kenway, Hatham Kenway, and himself, and some of the other characters coming out later in the line. So, not too much to say about the packaging itself. Let's open him up. And here we have Connor out of the packaging. Now, I'll give it this. Um, this is a surprisingly decent-looking figure when all is said and done. A lot of nice detail on this guy, a lot of varying shades of paint that really make him blend in. Um, they went with ratchet joints, which I'm not crazy about. Um, the only thing I have to say about the look of this guy is the secret blade. Not crazy about it at all. Now, zoom in there. You see, it's not. It's a decently detailed little piece of plastic. Um, and I was wondering how they were actually going to incorporate the secret blade into the figures. NECA is actually, you could slide in and out. This one, you pop on and off. As you can see there, there's two little tabs in the figure's gauntlet. And you get the little blade right here. Now... I kind of like that for Connor because you can actually put it in his hand, you know, in the game. He'll flip it out, use it to skin an animal, stuff like that. But, um, just, I wish they could have maybe made the hilt brown to blend in with his gauntlet. That would have been nice. Um, but you can take it off. He does still have the two pegs sticking out right there, you can kind of notice, but it's nothing horrible. Um, other, I know Edward Kenway, um, this guy's grandpa does come with both two extendeds and two closed, so it would have been nice to see this guy get a closed one, but, oh well, beggars can't be choosers. Now, his bow I have strung over his back. Um, I'm actually impressed with how they did the string on this. It's actually very taut, and the detail on the bow is pretty nice, as you can see there. Um, but there's no arrows at all. You add two here to his quiver. They've sculpted about three arrows coming out. The rest of the quiver is filled in. That was a big letdown. Um, but still, now his tomahawk, which is over here in his hand, you can pull it out. Everything fits nicely. Of course, this is the assassin tomahawk, I think, from the game. Very nicely detailed. Laying that over here. He also has his two flintlock pistols. These things were an absolute pain in the ass to get in both of these holsters because you got to put them in here at these weird angles and even coming out, they're kind of irritating. Um, there's no give in the holsters, there's no give in the quiver, so you really got to fight his arms and just how tightly crammed in here these things are. But you can't get them in and out and it doesn't look like anything's going to break in the process. It's just one of those little things. Let's actually cram these down in here real quick. Ooh, did I just break something? No, I don't think I broke anything. Yeah, it's just a little bit of detailing on the gun. You can put both the blunt locks in his hand. I mean, it's a nice enough look, but I probably won't be doing it. And I think the guns might be a little bit different. Yeah, they look about exactly the same. Now, let's go into detail before we actually do articulation. Now, this is a McFarlane toy. McFarlane has been amazing with figures in the past. They've been crappy with figures in the past. And right now, if you ask me who detailed toys the best in any market, it would be NECA, hands down. But I've got to say, McFarlane brought their A-game to this toy. Um, like there on the quiver, see a lot of the native, you know, markings and stitching. 
a lot of the clothes and the paints on the clothes are very nice. It makes him look dirty and weathered like he's been out in the field or on a mission. Um, even on the holsters and the pouches, it's very nice. Let's turn this guy around. Yeah. They did a great job actually putting the hood up, putting the hood on there right. You know, it looks like you can see, but there's definitely a point where you can't see his eyes. So overall, you know, kudos. This is probably going to be the shiny example of what McFarlane Toys are judged on as far as detail. Now, as far as his articulation, um, the actual cowl, I guess you would call this, the hood, is separate from the rest of his outfit, but it doesn't really do that much. Very, very slight left and right, which I can't blame him on. Now, the rest of this is on a ratchet joint. I mean, almost every joint is a ratchet. That's kind of irritating because ratchets can go way too far. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. You know, it's up to you posing him to put him in a decent looking pose. But I've had experience with ratchets where they've worn, worn down, they've broken quickly. But on the plus side, it does allow for a great range of articulation and movement. And um, that's definitely one of the things they beat NECA on. Is NECA's toys were very much, you know, you can get them in one or two poses, but definitely not too many. This guy, you see very free moving elbow with the ratchet, spins left and right. Same with the shoulder. Get a lot of nice, oh god, where was the hay bale laying on the ground with a broken arm? And even the wrists are on a very nice little ball joint with a hinge ratchet. Which could add for a lot of great little execution poses with your secret gauntlet. There's no real main torso articulation at all. He doesn't even turn at the waist. Um, now, the way his outfit comes down is kind of hindering the legs. So that's unfortunate. But very, very slight forward and back. Legs, well, knees are likewise on a ratchet. Forward, back, left and right. And ankles, once again, on a ratchet. So, back forward, very slight little pivot in there. Um, so, I was kind of hoping, when I said the articulation would be better, I'd really hope we could get some of the crouches in here, but with the outfit and how it's hindering his legs, it looks like we are not going to be able to do that. So, at the end of the day, this figure is a mixed bag. Um, the detail's great, the articulation's decent. Um, some of the designs, I think, were kind of a mistake. You know, it's really hard to get the flintlock pistols in there, although you can do it. Um, the secret blade, I wish, would have been more better, well, more well detailed. And at the end of the day, I really felt cheated not getting an arrow to put in his bow. But these are running you $17.99 at Toys R Us. As always, Toys R Us is kind of pricey. Um, GameStop has them for about $15. You can get all three of the initial figures in a set online for about $40, though. And if you're going to buy one of these guys, you probably want all three. Um, I'm not going to show you guys the DLC, the DLC code because, well, I want my DLC. But, come on, bow. Oh, God, did that? Oh, it's the string. For a second, I thought the bow had broken. I was going to freak out. So, at the end of the day, um, I wish NECA had kept the license, but this is actually not a bad attempt for McFarlane. Um, it's going to look nice on a shelf. It's a very nicely detailed figure. There's points of it I would change, but I still recommend picking him up. And that being said, this is JTrain997, and I'll see you soon, YouTube.